everyone. Okay, so how to do a French seam. First, you're going to begin by putting your fabric wrong sides together. Yes, wrong sides of the fabric together. Then you'll stitch down like you would with a normal seam. What seam allowance you use depends on your project. Once you're done stitching, I like to give my seam an ironing, and then you'll trim up those raw edges. And again, how much you trim depends on the seam allowance for your project. For seams that aren't going through a pleater, I like to trim to about a 3 16th or quarter inch or so. The idea is that the finished French seam will be about a quarter inch or 3 eighths wide. Now it's not an exact science <laughs> by all means. I do not measure to make sure I'm staying on the 3 16th inch mark. You're perfectly fine by eyeballing. It does not need to be that precise. So then I iron that again before flipping the fabric over and giving it another ironing. Then I make sure that the previous seam is in the center and give that an ironing. And this is what I mean by the previous seam being in the center. You do not want a lopsided seam. So finally stitch right down on the other side of those raw edges. This will leave you with a pretty enclosed seam known as the French seam. Now I like to stitch as close to the raw edges as possible as opposed to leaving a gap. I just think it's a cleaner look. But there you have it, that's how to do a French seam. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.